Let's talk about case study number one, which is the hydrodehalation of toluene. So at the end of this case study, we must end up with the flow sheet working as follows. Now the main objective of this case study is to convert toluene into benzene and then react benzene to form diphenyl. So if you remember, hydrodealkylation implies that we are going to remove a alkyl from the toluene. So toluene, remember, is this benzene molecule with a methyl branch. What we want to do in the first step is to remove this. So we want to get benzene. And of course, there's going to be a byproduct. And then this benzene will react with another benzene to form a ring similar to this. Well, actually, let's say that this is the benzene ring. They are joined together by one bond. So this is the diphenyl. So of course we're going to require some reactions in the reactor essentially and separation units. So first things first, let's talk about the feed. The feed is going to be preheated. So we got here the preheating system and then we're going to have the reactor. It's going to be a PFR, plug flow reactor with isothermal conditions. Then the products are going to be cooled down, which is here the cooler, because we need to separate these with a separator, so this is interesting. We're going to be modeling a SEP one or two. Then what we want to get here is hydrogen gas and methane gas to go in the vapor phase. In the second separator to separate hydrogen gas and methane. This will probably go to a hydrogen stream and methane can be used as natural gas or will go to the flare system. The liquid stream is what we are uh, let's say you know, of interest. It has the benzene ring, the toluene, and the diphenyl mix. The liquid stream is pumped in order to increase and separate this. The benzene product is going to be here in the distillate. So we have one column right here, distilled column, and in the bottom we're going to have the toluene and diphenyl mix. This is essentially because of the difference in temperature or boiling points, BP points. Now what we want also is to remove the diphenyl and toluene. So we are going to use a flash system. Diphenyl will go as a vapor and toluene will go as a liquid. These can be used in a recycled stream because we know toluene is one of our raw materials and diphenyl is actually our raw material, let's say product, final product specification. And here goes some benzene. So what can you do with this benzene is you can distribute it as benzene or send it back in order to improve the condition. So you have toluene and benzene, which is the raw material for diphenyl. You can improve this specification. Talking about the specifications, we're going to use the sign spec or the sign specifications in order to increase the yield and purity of the products. So let's say, even though we say this is diphenyl, we know that this is diphenyl maybe at 99%. Let's see what do we need to do in order to increase this to 99.999. And also to increase the yields. Let's say that we're having a conversion of 70%. What can we do in order to increase the yield to maybe, I don't know, 95%. Components, toluene, hydrogen gas, benzene, methane, and diphenyl. Property method, recommended one is Peng Robinson because we are operating at relatively higher pressures and these are all non-polar. Talking about the first reaction, because we're going to have several reactions. The first one converts to toluene, hydrogen, to benzene and methane. This methane is going up here. We're going to be setting up the kinetics as follow, power law. It's based on partial pressure, KPA, and these are the rate units. Kinetic factor is given, and the driving force is given as well. Reaction number two is converting the benzene to the diphenyl and the hydrogen gas goes as well. So this is interesting because this is a reversible reaction, whereas the previous line, the previous one is not. We got kinetic tabs, and this is interesting because we need to add the reverse condition. And then we add the units. What block 
or what unit operation do we need? We need, first things first, the preheater, the reactor, the press separator, which is this one right here. It's going to separate the volatile gas versus the liquids. Separator 2 is going to separate hydrogen and methane. Distill 1 is going to separate benzene via distillation. And flash, the last flash, is going to separate the final product versus toluene. And clearly we need some utility units, heater, pumper, etc. These are the conditions we're going to be covering right now when we go to the flow sheet, but just ensure that we need to have the specifications for a first estimate. So these are the first estim estimations. The distillation, as you can see, has a lot of stages. The reflux ratio, not that high, so that can be an area of improvement. And we will need to go and start building our flow sheet. So let's go to Aspen.